I will now give the floor to a representative from Gestos HIV Communication and Gender. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. At least since 2011, global partnership for effective cooperation are debated, but they continue allowing strong power imbalances and the advancement of inequalities and structural violence. It shouldn't be like that. Through the SDGs and Addis Ababa Action Plan, Action Agenda, the government agreed about what to do and how to do it. But these agreements were not fulfilled. So we now need really an urgent partnerships that reclaim multilateralisms and advance rights. One partnership that is capable to really make social and environmental justice prevail. For that, governments must really take back the drive seat of development. As data indicates, the multinational corporations still didn't contribute enough to finance and or to implement the SDG. So it's very concerning for civil society that their level of influence is just increasing over governments and UN, while the commercial relations continue imposing barriers to human rights. Today is concerning that the history of AIDS drug monopolies just repeated before our eyes. Countries in global north prioritizing intellectual property and profits over lives in the South. So effective partnerships depend on world leaders' capacity and interest to learn from their mistakes. So we recommend one focus on systemic barriers and integrated rights, emphasizing system-wide policy coherence at all levels, especially for human rights bodies, ensuring accountability of on our community made. Second, recognize our community-led responses for COVID-19 and for achieving SDGs, including support grassroots organizations, particularly those led by women and girls in all our diversity, to monitor local and global policies and budgets that directly impact our communities. Finally, we hope the Partnership Forum shouldn't be an arena for geopolitical schemes but rather an arena for cooperation that people, especially those most marginalized, deserve. As evidence indicates, partnerships not found in rights-based and gender-based frameworks are doomed to remain a disaster for humanity. This becomes clear when not even a global pandemic, a challenge impacting everyone, everywhere, could at least create the levels of cooperation and solidarity required. Thank you very much.